Welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. And a historian's uniform. It was. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Okay. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. I didn't expect all these guys to just dip out of transfiguration class like that. Well, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Narkov. You talk too much, Arthur. Well, I'm so walking away from you. From oh my god. Let me do my thing. We're here doing transfiguration class. We're about to learn... Well, transfiguration. I think it's the name of the spell, or maybe it's transformation? Not sure. Is it going to turn into a book? Was she, were they right? <laughs> settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Yes, we do. All right. Ooh. Ha. He. Ooh. Jaws of defeat. Defeated. Now we're only missing two spells in the game. Ooh. Looks like a dead fly or moth. Does not look like a butterfly, I'll tell you that. Wow, everybody's so good. Transformation, new spell unlocked. Hell yeah. Let's take a look at that. So transformation is a yellow spell. Of which we use Levioso and Arresto Momentum. Kind of, sometimes. Where do we want this? We definitely do want to try it, so I think I'm going to put it here on Arresto Momentum. And we're going to Spock, Spock, Professor Weasley. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And, and frankly, surpassing. excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Is that Protecting an extra voice so line? Rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank, Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Mm -hmm. So, oh, I don't know how, to, how I want to handle this. I'm going to have to make up my mind awfully quickly, but... See, I do trust Professor Weasley, and I think that it's okay to talk to her. But until I get that go-ahead from Fig, I think I should say no. Not at all. I, um... I enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by a wand law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. Huh. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Well, she knows we're lying, and she's not that upset. Oh, hell yeah, let's uh let's try this out. Oh, 
themselves to me. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Ooh. We've got a lot of cool I stuff. Oh, Lodgok. But I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Anybody else want to give me a, a huge load of quests? No? Okay. Let's see what we've got. It's quite a bit. We can do the dragon debrief. Poppy. Uh, three broomsticks. I think we want to do that. And mum's the word. Natty outside the divination classroom. We're going to start with this one. And then we're going to go do the dragon debrief. Not so far. You want to talk, Gareth? Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. <laughs> you don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest Don't let us hate the hate. Don't let the hate us hate. The fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. All right. Yeah, you write that down. That idea that you definitely have. We're going to try something that I don't think I can do, but... That would have been very, very cool. And very, very useful in this circumstance. What about here? Let me do this bridge. This bridge would be useful too. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Might actually be a better... Better bridge for me to land on. Handy resource indeed. So frustrating. You guys waited for me? You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful. Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabillaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. I agree. It seems she very frustrating. She called you her little gazelle. <laughs> is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. Really? However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. 
I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Were you born an Anamagus, or did you learn to become one? Anamagia not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. You made that then up. Then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Okay. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Hmm. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <laughs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, no problem. Also, your mother's not going to be happy. What are you doing? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. So now we are going to go to Hogsmeade to the three broomsticks. Oh, that is the Hogsmeade map. I don't want that waypoint. I would like to travel to South Hogsmeade. Off to the three broomsticks. To have a conversation with Poppy about the dragon. Maybe the dragon egg that we got. Just hanging on to it, you know? Sitting in our pockets. The roads lead to Hogsmeade. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's being burgled. Let's pretend I never heard the room. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I bet it I've does. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. There's so many the more of them that we left wearing, behind. They appear to be goblin I don't know why we didn't save the I ones in the cages the around. It's precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Yeah, we'll check on her. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. I also want to go after the dragon. There was something That's else really that cool. I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Sorry, Poppy. If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. I shan't oh, press you're very understanding. Defense. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Well, that's a little, uh, not relevant to the current time, but all right, Poppy. Worrying about the troll, fair enough. Let's look at the world map. Do we have... what is this one? 
Sebastian by the Overlook. That's a main story quest? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We're actually kind of close to the recommended level for it. Right, I'm in Hogsmeade. Can't fly out of Hogsmeade. I know that. I wish you could. But what? Accio. Meet, here I come. Get me out of the no fly zone, please. Switch it up. They almost noticed me flying 25 feet above the ground on a big ass hippogriff. Almost. How, how do you slow down in this damn thing? Jesus. Back into the bag you go. At night time you want to meet me. Is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Is that a separate Sebastian quest that you just added on while I'm here for the first Sebastian quest? Meet Sebastian across the world from where I am now. Oh, we gotta go do, do this one too. We definitely want to do both of those before we move forward, don't we? This gives us Imperio. Oh. You know what? Um, We might skip this and come back to it. Because I think that this stuff is like in between. And we don't want to progress anything. Until we have what we have want. Promising news about Did want to listen to that. It's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully it still plays it. But we're going to go ahead and... Fail at clicking the button I want. <coughs> Yeah, teleport to Feldcroft. Then we're going to go over there and do the Imperio. I'm sure we wouldn't lose the option to do the Imperio. But as long as these are repopulating, these Seems pleasant enough small the continuation quests, or whatever you want to call them, these speech bubble quests, I want to get them out of the way first. And look at that. We want to get those too. Is there are more down by the water there that I saw last time. Not a Whomping Willow, is it? I would love to see a Whomping Willow. I've never seen a sword like it. Sword? What sword are you talking about? What kind of tree is this? Ah, one that Mooncalf's come out of, no? Never mind then. Oh, I see balloons. Hell yeah. Get these as well, which is going to give us a new broom. do have uncollected rewards waiting for me. But before that, let's go up here. Oh, I love being able to just fly up where we want a wheel like that. It's really beautiful. But yeah, let's check out our rewards. One of the challenges. I've got a few things to collect, actually. 
We can collect this and Protego Shielding. And I think that's it on this screen. No, actually. Get that, and we also get this one, Lupus Protection. This one too, Anti-Venom 1. Okay. And we got, ooh, what's this? Top of the class cloak. Looks nice. And the lucky leprechaun hat. Increased storage for gear. Why haven't I collected this yet? Bad. Secret Solver's bathing costume. Okay. Hell yeah. Got the wildfire broom. And then the bright spark broom is the last one. What's this? Ancient capacity. I really should have been claiming these, huh? Okay, we're also going to go into talents real quick. And go into spells. This is the one I was talking about. It turns people into barrels or whatever. Now it turns them into explosive barrels. Which is just phenomenal. Really, that's just amazing. We're going to go ahead and use that. And we're going to look into gear because it... It's claiming we have some upgrades. That is an upgrade, actually, even though it's green. We will equip it, even though we don't really want to. Speaking of which, that's a downgrade. Okay, never mind. And the robe. Unidentified. And the neckwear. Okay. No problem. How do we get more of these? would like to see more options for that. But Sebastian should be just over here. You're here. Good. What did you find? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Yes, he would. Catacomb assignment yielded more than I'd imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay, amid the turned-over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further, if only the removal of the objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. How did we open the door? That was on the thing, like, a second ago. Sure. Sure. What will we find within the depths of the catacomb? Will we find I'm the sure relic? That foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. My nerve, eh? Bombarda! And Fringo! I did not use that very well, but whatever. Bombarda! Yeah, Bombarda doesn't have any fire aspect to it. At I least definitely prefer not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. Akio. The rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. They're arachnids. Okay. 
we are going to need Wingardium Leviosa mapped, so we'll put it here. And we should probably be running around with, like I said, I think I just prefer Confringo. Yeah. We'll just swap that out onto there. Confringo even works Confringo. for this. It's fire, right? Fire's good for us. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Oh, up there. Understood. Uh, did I do that? Wingardium Leviosa. Let's run up the wall. See what's awaiting us up here. Single chest. Finding a chest in an with a small vivarium decoration. Incendium. Confringo. <laughs> Bounced off Sebastian's face. I don't think I need to bring the box down here, but if I see a reason to, I'll go back for it. We've read turns back into a spider to die. Is there a chain effect there? Else, like an Accio, yeah. Spider fangs and some money. I don't think this what is the right say? way. I nearly slipped there. Ooh, that's not a good scene for anybody with arachnophobia. I'll tell you that. Confringo. All right. All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. Confringo. We'll be fine, though. Hmm. Okay. Do you believe that is a dead end now, and this was the way we should have gone first? That is good news. And this is the way we gotta go for the quest. Looks promising that down is there. The sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Lovely. Outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Can I repair all these? Is that what it's telling me? I have to try. Why else would it be all highlighted like that, right? Can I just repair a skeleton? Repair. No, okay. Glupendo. What's the purpose of highlighting it then? Akio. Ugh, come on, dude. Confringo. straight off his face, man. All right, all right. There's something right. here by the altar. Confringo. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sent something else about this relic. I was told that the chosen by English oak wands have po powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Hold Rebellion. On. Hold on. Do I actually need to Wingardium Leviosa the bones? Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. That's a lot of bone rattle. That's awful.
That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Incendio. Accio. Confringo. Real quickly, we'll check this chamber. Accio. We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. More bones. Wingardium Leviosa. Assuming I'll need them out here. It's enough to open the door, right? Nope, it needs to be finished off. There's another way through here. Incendium. There is, and we will go this way first. We've made it this far. Clearly, we have more to do. Well, this is another one of those Accio. same things. Confringo. To find a safe way across. Accio. Lumos. I guess I jump down here with Lumos. Confringo. This. Incendio. Fire is lit, and then do the same thing on the other side. Until the fire is lit. Which opens those up. Akio. Which of course is where all the bones is. Wingardium Leviosa. How's that not it? I can't lift it. I'm a little confused. Okay, this is probably we're gonna have to come back. For... Oh wait, never mind. There's the other half of the bridge. Rickety bone bridge complete. This can't be the right way to go, even though it's asking me to do quite a bit. No. Wait, wait, wait. Big circle, right? This is just a chest room. Yeah. Flipendo. That was a mistake. I did not want that. Accio. There's the good chest. House standing banners. Gonna open that, which is back to the main room. What else do we have in here? Some more money. Okay. This is back with Sebastian here. Well, I am going to leave it here for the rest of the episode. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to learn Imperius next episode. It's going to be the very beginning of the episode, kind of like how we did with Crucio. Hopefully that works out pretty well for us. Uh, we're also going to go meet up with Poppy. I think we've got another message with Poppy. And if it gives us more of these speech bubble quests, I don't know if there's a term for them or whatever. Some of them are quick conversations and some of them are like this huge things but if it gives us more of those we will do those before we progress with the main story quests because those are more important to me than actual like side missions they're actually like story related side missions but enjoy the rest of your day have a good one peace